Day 26, the surprising starting point. We're talking about barrenness from Isaiah 54. And barrenness is a concept that we, I mean, it's a word we don't use. It's a concept maybe that isn't something we're really comfortable with. But in the ancient world, having children was really so critical to one's identity and, and their very purpose in life. And so barrenness really was, was uh, a, a sign that God's favor was not with you. And this is the surprising starting point for us in seeing God do impossible things in us and through us. It's our own barrenness. It's our own lack of fruit. So, so listen to this first verse in Isaiah 54. Sing, O barren one, you who did not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud. He's saying, listen, when you are in touch with your own lack of power, just get happy. Just begin to sing and celebrate because now you're a candidate for God to do great things in you and through you. And the prophet tells this, this woman to, to cry out and says, you're going to have more children than you can imagine. Your, your children are going to populate empty cities. And so Jesus said it this way, Matthew 5, 3, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When you know your own poverty of spirit, your own lack of power, you're ready for God to work in you and through you. So this is the surprising starting point. Your, your own inability, your own failure, your own weakness. Um, you're going to be tempted to draw back and say, okay, God can't do this. God can't use me. But actually, it's your cue. It's, it's, it's the prompt that pushes you forward to say, I, I need God. And God's promised to meet me at the point of my need. So my friend, the surprising point, the surprising starting point, it's your own need for God. Let's ask God for great things.